Welcome to another episode of our DND 5e series. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 5 monk subclasses in the game. Monks are a versatile and agile class that can deal massive amounts of damage while also being very mobile in combat. And with a wide range of subclasses available, they can also have unique abilities and playstyles. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the top 5 monk subclasses. Way of the Open Hand Starting off our list at number 1 is the Way of the Open Hand subclass. This subclass focuses on stunning and disabling opponents, making them one of the best control options for a monk. By spending a key point, the Way of the Open Hand monk can attempt to knock an opponent prone, push them away, or even prevent them from taking reactions. Additionally, they can heal themselves with their Hands of Healing ability, which can be a lifesaver in a tight situation. Way of the Shadow At number 2, we have the Way of the Shadow subclass. This subclass focuses on stealth and deception, allowing the monk to become a true ninja-like character. With their Shadow Arts ability, they can cast spells like Darkness or Silence, and with their Shadow Step ability, they can teleport from one shadow to another. They can also become invisible in dim light or darkness, making them a formidable opponent in any situation. Way of the Four Elements Coming in at number 3 is the Way of the Four Elements subclass. This subclass allows the monk to manipulate the elements, making them a versatile and powerful class. With their elemental attunement ability, they can create minor elemental effects like gusts of wind or bursts of flame. They can also cast spells like Burning Hands or Thunder Wave, and with their Wholeness of Body ability, they can heal themselves in battle. Way of the Drunken Master At number 4, we have the Way of the Drunken Master subclass. This subclass allows the monk to fight like a master even when they're under the influence. With their Drunken Technique ability, they can disengage from combat and move away from enemies without provoking attacks of opportunity. They can also make a bonus attack after they use Flurry of Blows, making them a great choice for players who like to mix it up in close combat. Way of the Kensai Last but not least, we have the Way of the Kensai subclass. This subclass focuses on the use of weapons, making the monk a deadly fighter with a blade. With their Kensai weapons ability, they can make their weapons magical, allowing them to bypass resistances and immunities. They can also use their Agile Parry ability to increase their AC while using a Kensai weapon, making them a difficult target to hit. So, there you have it, the top 5 monk subclasses in DND 5e. Whether you prefer to control your opponents, become a ninja, manipulate the elements, fight like a master when drunk, or become a deadly blade fighter, there's a subclass for you. Monks are a versatile and exciting class to play, and with so many subclasses available, you're sure to find one that fits your playstyle.